This week, we have some lighter fare hitting the box office after several weeks of horror just taking over the box office. Kind of rare, especially during the summer. But A Quiet Place Part 2 is doing great. It should pass $100 million, that milestone, this weekend. Also, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It uh, is doing very respectable business in its opening weekend week. Now, getting to this weekend's films, we have In the Heights and Peter Rabbit 2. Probably the highly anticipated of the two would be In the Heights. Now, this is based on Lin-Manuel Miranda's Broadway hit musical, In the Heights. It's being directed by John Chu. Now, he's the one who uh, directed Crazy Rich Asians. That went on to make a lot of money and was a surprise hit. He's looking for a little more of that magic with In the Heights. Now, this is debuting same day in theaters and on HBO Max. We'll see if those numbers are dampened because of that. But this film really is probably going to pull in the audience to theaters because of its large scale, the music, the color. It's really just designed to be seen in theaters. What does Juanito mean? Suenito. It means little dream. That's it? No story? All right, all right, everybody sit down, sit down. Yes! It's a story of a block that was disappearing. In un barrio called Washington Heights. The streets were made of music. I am Usnavian, you probably never heard my name. Reports of my fame are greatly exaggerated. Good morning, Usnavi. On these blocks, you can't walk two steps without bumping into someone's big plan. I'm making moves, I'm making deals, but guess what? What? You still ain't got no skills. <laughs> I've been saving up all my pennies in my piggy bank for this day. This is going to be an emotional roller coaster. The odds are against you. But there's a chance, right? A dream isn't some sparkly diamond. There's no shortcuts. Sometimes it's rough. Yeah, I'm a street light choking on the heat. The world spins around while I'm frozen to my seat. The people that I know. They're talking about kicking out all the dreamers. But every day is different, so it's time to make some noise. We had to assert our dignity in small ways. Just listen. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible. Ignore anyone who doubts you. In the heights, we came to work and to live, and we got a lot in common. The film should overperform, I'm thinking, uh, about north of $20 million, probably, uh, in the Heights, is rated PG-13. Now, here's one for the kids, Peter Rabbit 2. It was scheduled to come out at Easter. Uh, it came out overseas. It did really well, so studio bumped it up a week earlier. And now, here it is, in theaters, Peter Rabbit 2. Tommy, no, those are Mr. McGregor's. I swear, if it wasn't for me. Peter, just leave my tomatoes alone. You have everything else. Honestly, my kids will be so much better behaved. Go easy on him. As soon as they have a baby, we're done for. Maybe we're better off without them. Despite his efforts, Peter can't seem to shake his reputation for mischief among the other rabbits. I love this place. What's for lunch? There's a magical place with the ripest radishes, the sweetest corn. It's called the Farmer's Market. Once he adventures out of the garden, Peter finds himself in a world where mischief is appreciated. This sounds a bit dodgy. I would never put you in danger. I promise. Okay, I can't promise. We're gonna go and rob this place. Are you in or you out? We're in! Run! No! But soon, his family comes to bring him home. Why are you even helping me? It's what a dad does. It's a, a bad habit. <laughs> Peter Rabbit 2 is rated PG. And those are the films landing in theaters this weekend. I'm Cody. See you at the movies.